Today, we will be making pan braised pork ribs. We're going to start with four tablespoons of sunflower oil, which is great for sauteing and braising. It has a wonderfully dense oil that coats without overpowering. And so, now that I've said my piece on sunflower oil, get that nice and warm, hot, inside of a pan under medium heat. Make sure the pan's about four quarts because you're gonna put half of a medium sized onion that's been sliced into half round ribbons. And then you're also going to put half of a green cabbage. That cabbage should be of a medium size. And you're going to leaf the cabbage apart. That way they don't stick up in clumps unless they're bound together by the core that remains or the stem. Speaking of which, make sure the core is taken out. After that, lay your marinated ribs on top of them, nice and even in a row. That is going to be after about two and a half minutes of sauteing the vegetables. Now, after you lay down the ribs, put any extra juice from the marinade right on top and inside as you put on the lid and let it cook for about five to six minutes on high. You want it to be high at the beginning and then you're gonna lower it down to a nice low simmer at the end for the last, well, for the whole of about two hours. And if you have three with a really low heat, you should take the time to do it for three because they will be fall off the bone great. I remember, after six minutes, take that heat down to a nice low simmer and let that roll for 90 minutes, check it, and then another 30 minutes after that, you can say it can be done if you really like Otherwise, let it go the full three hours, nice and slow. You, you don't want it bubbling the whole time, as you see here. You only want it bubbling in the beginning. You want to turn it down nice and low. So that's what you see after about 60 to 90 minutes. 60 minutes, it won't be as soft. Turn them over after the 90 minute mark. That way you get even cooking on all the sides. It's a real important thing because you don't want to have any chewy ribs when you're enjoying those lovely short pork ribs. Remember, this can also be done with lamb. They work pretty interchangeably with this recipe. Everybody, do it yourself gourmet. Bon appetit. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.